Now inside of this, we're going to give it a, a heading tag, h2 tag, h3, h4, depending on where you are on your page and how you want to do it. Now this will not be a dynamic title because, like I said, there's not going to be any options in the back end, at least for the short series. But later down the road, it will change that if you want to. This one's going to be called Popular Stuff. If you want to see what I'm working on, actually, really quick here, go to awfulmedia.com and go to the version 2. And updated this a couple days ago with, it ain't going to be styled like this, but if you uh, want to see what we're doing, we're doing something kind of like this. I use the same method here. And uh, it's ordered by the amount of post views. Notice the post views isn't actually displayed. It's just counted and used for ordering. So that's kind of a simple thing to do, right? It's pretty cool. So we're doing something like that. So popular stuff. Now let's open up an order, unordered list because we want these to be... Well, they could be ordered, actually. They are technically ordered, so that would make more sense. Then an LI here. Now, what we want is for this LI to contain the post name and uh, be looped through. So this, this is going to be what's repeating for every post. So we want to start the loop above that and end the loop below that. If you don't know how the WordPress loop works, then I suggest you watch my tutorial series on WordPress. We go over all that good stuff. So let's open up PHP tag and let's close the PHP tag. Now inside of this, we're going to set up a variable for args. Now this is not going to be the, well, just to, just to clear it up, let's make sure we do something like query args or something. So you don't get confused with these different args here. So we're going to say query args equals, it's going to be an array. So we're going to store the values in an array because we're going to have multiple ones and it'd be a lot easier to manage this way. So now we're going to enter that down. Now inside of this, we're going to say, for our case, we're going to be querying a specific post type. And that post type is going to be Awful Media Games. Now this may not apply to you. If you don't have a specific post type, you can say posts here, or leave that blank and it'll be the default to posts. And I'm going to set a posts per page for the query. And ours is going to be four, five, whatever. So I'm going to say five. Order by. And we're going to be ordering by the meta value, okay? So the meta value is the meta field that we'll define using the meta key here in a moment. But we're going to be using numbers. So make sure we have num so it'll recognize the numbers past the first digit. So if you have like a thousand and ten, it will recognize more than the first one. It'll say, oh, a thousand and ten. So that's more than five because five is more than one. But, you know, that's, a, that's again, that's explained in the WordPress series. Now we're going to have the meta key. Now this is the meta field. And in our case, it is going to be the post views count. So that is going to be inside the functions here. You'll see post views count, count key there. That variable we set is post views count. So we'll take that and that'll be what the meta key is. So this is saying order by meta value number. And this is saying what value or what meta field to grab the number from. So post views count. And then that array is ended there. It's all that we need to define. Now we'll set up our query. Query. Just a variable you can set yourself. Oop, I'm not doing that. We're going to say new WordPress query. Then we're going to pass the arguments that we just created through that, that query function. So we're passing these arg. Well, I keep forgetting that we named that query args. So we're passing that through to the WordPress query function. Now we're going to say while something exists, do something, All right? So we're going to say while the query has found some posts. So we're going to say while the query have posts. So while the query actually has a post that it's found, query the post. This is explained a bit more in the series as well, but I wanted to go over what we were doing specifically for this series. Now below the LI, we will then go and end the while. So open a PHP tag, and we're going to say end while. So all we have here is a while loop. We don't have an if the post exists, because we're not going to worry about that. We're saying while the post exists, we're going to query that post, and then we're going to repeat this for every post that exists with the information in here, whatever it may be, the title, and then we're going to end the while loop. So make sure you end that while loop or you will definitely have a couple issues. 
So inside this li, we're going to open up an anchor tag. First, I want to we want to see what's going on. It's not always not good to, to keep going without seeing what's happening. So we have popular stuff. So it's recognizing it as a widget. It's using that widget in the sidebar, the dynamic sidebar that we created in the theme. And then here it looks like we have the li stacking because our li's have borders. So we can tell that there's a uh, some li's there because of the borders. There's no information. So if I say post, hit Control S, refresh, you'll see post, post, post. Apparently there's only three. But inside this li, what I'm going to do is open up an anchor tag, and the href is going to be the permalink to that post that it's currently looped on top of. Okay. Close that anchor tag. Inside of this anchor tag, we're going to have the title of the post. So the title. And boot control S, refresh. Oop, no, let's go over here. Now we'll see second game, this is the title, and hello world. So it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Awful media games. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Goodness. We're not going to get anything right here if we're using dashes. I bet you're yelling at me. You're yelling at me, aren't you? Don't yell at me. I didn't notice that. <laughs> okay, make sure you have underscores for these. That could fix some of your problems. There we go. I apologize for that. I'll put an annotation <laughs> at that part to make sure you're not yelling at me for no good reason. Well, there's a good reason, but I eventually found it. So underscores, it makes a big difference. Okay, so now we have the correct posts inside of here. And to make sure this is working properly, what we could do is echo out the amount of views that they have. So we'll go to our single.php and we'll actually copy out the function we're using to echo the amount of posts. And we can do this and then echo. We'll want to echo it out inside that, just like that. If we go and refresh. And what this will show us is that uh, we have messed something up. I have a question. Should I be teaching you guys how to do this or not? <laughs> I just noticed I have uh, another issue of this. So make sure it's an underscore. Underscore. Now if we refresh on that, it is going in correct order. 3311199. That is the correct way to count. So that's working for us just fine. And that's pretty much how you make a widget and how you wrap it up in a plugin and how you create it based on popular posts. If you want to know for more, more information about the post view count that we set up for this theme, be sure to check out that tutorial series. It's pretty long. It's still in progress. And uh, it's still got a few parts to go. But we create this theme. It's not very impressive, but there's a lot of information in there. And it will teach you how to do everything from the ground up. So it's a game theme, so it's, it's, it's showing you more than just a blog. It's showing you how you can do a lot of different stuff with custom post types custom meta information, all that stuff. We bring in all this stuff in dynamically here based on meta information defined on the post page. Be sure to check this out if you're interested in seeing something like this. But that's all for the functionality. You get the idea. You get how to make a widget. And if you're interested in seeing this extended into a more advanced widget where we have custom input fields in the back that a user can input and change some data, let me know in the comments below. If there's enough want for something like that, then I'll be sure to jump on top of that. Be sure to watch the WordPress series. We are not done. We have a bit more to do, and uh, we'll get on top of that as well. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Awful Media, and check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash awfulmedia. Website, awfulmedia.com is also there for you to look at stuff. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and leave a comment. Let me know some stuff below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.